Thanks for checking out my video. Uh, this is my second uh, attempt at making an overbalanced wheel. The first one we made for my son's science fair project. Uh, I want to make sure and show you the back here so you can see that there is a kind of motor back here. Um, and now let's go ahead and, and get it started. Uh, this is a perpetual motion machine, so it keeps running until I stop it. I've actually had it running for over a month before um, without me touching it. My last video, people wanted uh, to see it run longer, so I'm going to let this one go ahead and, and run for a good long while. I'm thinking of maybe a couple minutes. Like I said, this is my second uh, attempt at making an overbalanced wheel, um, and there are a number of things I did different this time. Uh, first off, I kept the sound. The last time, people thought that maybe it was faked since there was no sound. I, I also added more bottles so that it would have smoother motion. The motion wasn't uh, very smooth with fewer bottles, uh, which led to some people thinking that it was fake. And, and this time I got, went ahead and used clear bottles and added uh, food coloring this time. That way you can really see how, if you look over on the left hand side, you can really see how the, uh, the water pulls the wheel around. I also uh, went ahead and used longer bottles this time to generate a little bit more power. And then uh, just like the last time, I, I had to dissolve a ton of salt water. Uh, into the salt into the water to make it heavier and I did a really good job of cleaning the bearings and hubs uh, to keep the, uh, the friction level down. My next goal is to add a small generator to this and have it power a small light or a calculator. Uh, I have links to our first wheel as well as uh, a video showing me putting this one together um, and that's it so if you have any uh, if you'd like to subscribe that'd be great that way you can see my update when I add the generator.